And it doesn't make us like a bad mom if we're having a hard time. There can just be so much pressure that like everything needs to be done. Hey guys, happy Saturday morning. 8.48, I've been up for since six. I've edited the vlog this morning, then the girls woke up and I just got them ready for the day. I'm about to go do the same for myself. I turned on that cocoa melon. Not my proudest moment, but I gotta do what I gotta do. I'm solo mommy this weekend and I can't wait for anybody to give me a break to take a shower. So I'm giving myself one. This weekend, I will be solo momming it. My husband had to travel to go to a wedding and um, we are at home, me and the kids. And so I could easily just be like, oh, I gotta start the day, everything gotta get done. But I have chosen to not do that and to take a moment to get myself ready and to get some self care in. Oh my gosh, I keep forgetting to do this first. Yeah, I just, I wanted to make sure that I felt energized and in a good place. And I know that getting myself ready in the morning highly, highly contributes to how I feel. If I walk around feeling like a frump, looking like a frump, I'm gonna feel like one. That is not to say that I don't have my frump days. I do, but I feel like with me solo momming it knowing the energy that is going to be required i i need all the energy that i can get both physically and emotionally so i felt like this is something that i can do to contribute to my just overall well-being this week my goal for this weekend is going to be a combination of trying to rejuvenate and get ready for next week. I feel like my weekends play a huge role in the productivity and energy levels I have during the week. So I try to make sure during the weekend that I'm not overdoing it. Like I have to have some downtime. You know? I have to have time to unplug you know and recharge it's so important to me and so at the same time though we got to get ready for next week you know we got to get some things in place so that i will not be scrambling next week so my goal of this weekend is to try to get those things done but then also try to make sure that i am taking care of myself and i'm ready for next week there's a monkey one of the biggest tasks that I need to get accomplished over the weekend is making sure that the girls' hair is done. This process can take hours. Right now I'm just taking down their hair and then after this I'll be washing their hair and then I will be putting their hair into a new style that they can wear for the next one, possibly two weeks. My husband's gonna come, bitch you. She knows he's coming. Is he coming? <laughs> In honor of self care, I decided to treat myself to some Starbucks. I tried a new drink, it was like an apple caramel macchiato or something like that. And as you could tell, it was hitting right, hence the little dance party. All right, so let the hair 
styling began. Did you guys see how that girl reached up there and grabbed her own crackers? I was just confused. I was like, where'd you get crackers from? So I'm glad that I have the playback because now I can tell. And so here we're just getting some styling done. And in just a minute, these girls are gonna be looking like little princesses. I wish that in real life this took minutes, but I'm glad that it's done. And the girls are going to be looking so cute at school this week. All right, so time for round two. Just in case you guys couldn't tell, these are twins. So I think maybe that's why sometimes I can feel overwhelmed by this task because there's two. But yay, we have another princess who's ready to look cute for school this week. Hi guys, so let's have some bonnet conversations. I think there's somebody out there named Bonnet Chronicles. I'm not trying to like steal her name or anything, but you know, the bonnet. Um, so let's have bonnet discussions, bonnet conversations. So we are getting ready to kind of start closing down the night. Uh, the girls are in bed and the boys are helping me pick up like their toys and things that they pulled out throughout the night. And I'm going to start working on my evening routines um, here shortly. I still need to place a Walmart order because it's the best feeling in the world to wake up on Saturday morning, Sunday morning, and have someone deliver and save you all those hours of time. But before I wrap up this vlog, I want to go through the question and through some of the answers that I got. So thank you for those of you guys who participated. I just, I'm so excited about this. So the question was, what is the number one piece of advice you would give yourself as a new mom when it comes to successfully managing your weekend with children? So I asked this question on Instagram and I asked this question on YouTube. And so I would preference it by saying that like there's so many different directions our weekend can go. We only have so much time and we can't do all of it. So, you know, you can spend your time cleaning, you can spend your time working on projects, you can spend your time with family. You can spend your time planning some combination of those things. So if you can just go back to yourself, because for me, I think that initially I didn't realize how short the weekends were and I felt like I just had all this time. But if you can just go back and give yourself advice, like what you know now, what would you t tell yourself, you know, back when you maybe didn't know as much. <laughs> so, um, I'm gonna read the comments that you guys left. Hannah from Hannah's World said, plan to get out of the house with the kids. Staying home all day can add a lot more stress. Kids love going out anyways. Happy kids, happy mom. I love that and I think that's great advice. Um, usually we try to do like family fun day for my home personally um, and I agree. Sometimes I don't want, for me, I, I don't know about you, Hannah, um, but for me, I sometimes don't feel like leaving. Like my, my my mind and body tries to tell me that staying at home is the right thing to do. But when I go and I come back and we have like those experiences, like I, I'm just so happy that I did it. Like I don't think I've ever taken my kids to go somewhere and then came back and was just like, that was horrible. Okay, that's a lie. But for the most part, I feel happy that I made that time. Sorry guys, my camera died. So I was just saying, Hannah, I really love that idea. And um, that's certainly advice that I wish I could go back and give myself as well. Just make the time to do that. Okay, let's see. We have Rachel O and she says, relax and enjoy, you're doing great. Also, it's okay to take a break, especially for a date with your husband. I agree with that as well. Um, sometimes I feel like, for me, there can just be so much pressure that like everything needs to be done, everything needs to be caught up, all your projects have to get done, and it can feel like there's very little room for a break. But for me, I know now that I just need that break to be able to have the strength, you know, to go on. 
and when I look back on my life I don't remember all the extra time I made to clean and scrub and maybe a notable decluttering project but I do remember like memories that I made with my family and when I look back I want to be happy and proud that I made that time okay the next response was from Tiffany Schneller Schneller I hope I said that right take time to slow down and really savor every moment because they really do grow up so fast it's so true like um Sometimes I'm just like in disbelief for me personally that I'm like a mom of four, that I'm about to have a child who's gonna be in the double digits. Like I literally just remember holding him, you know, like as a baby, like he was like barely taking up any space on my shoulder. And so it really does. Somebody said that the days are slow, but the years, wait, it's the other way. The days are fast. No, the days are, the days are long, but the years are fast, or years go by fast. So I think it just is like trying to help you remember that I know that it seems like this day is so long. They're like tipper tantruming and freaking out and really giving you a hard time and I know you're tired, but this time, this season really goes by fast. And so don't let the day deceive you into thinking that you have all this time to cherish, you know, with your kids, it goes by really fast and so. I love that and um, definitely advice that I wish I would have known earlier as well. And then Danielle Wilson says, it's hard for everyone, not just you. I like that, Danielle, um, and that's something that I would like to remember for myself as well because it's so easy to kind of like zoom in on your life, right? And, um, and to like forget to like zoom out and see the big picture. Sometimes I think that social media tries to, or absolutely contributes to this because on social media, typically people put like their best foot forward, you know, these curated, beautiful images that they had to like prepare for. When you see that over and over again, it can start to make you feel like you're like the odd man out. Like everybody has it together and I don't. And so I love, you know, just remembering that I think the most of us, for the most part, I think that most people are trying to figure it out. Most people are trying to find their way. And um, I think that we just have to remember that it's, it's okay and it's normal, you know, and, um, and it doesn't make us like a bad mom if we're having a hard time. I think the great majority of us are, and we are all in this together. And she said, Danielle also said, oh, and put the baby in the crib. My first fell asleep in the swing that first night home, and forever afterward needed motion to fall asleep. We were driving him around at bedtime, well into toddlerhood. That is so funny. <laughs> that is so cute, it's so funny. So there you go, guys. If you are uh, expecting and thinking about putting that baby in the swing, Danielle has provided a cautionary tale <laughs> that you might want to take into consideration, um, you know, if that is what you are thinking about doing. So this was really fun, you guys, and I really like chatting with you guys. Let me go over to Instagram. I left the same message on Insta. All right, so it looks like I don't have anything on Instagram. It's cool. I still love you guys on Instagram as well, but um, I'm going to try to post a few more of these. I thought this was really fun. I want to also give a shout out to Crystal. Hey girl, hey. Um, I saw your comment about wanting to start wrapping your gifts. So I totally encourage it. I'm, it feels like a pain in the butt. Actually, no it doesn't. You know, if you set you up a good little wrapping station, my wrapping station is so messy. It's not ideal. I just, in my office, I have everything laid out so that I don't have to be looking for anything. That makes it so much easier and it feels so much do more doable to just be like, you know what, I'm just gonna wrap this in my present and go make it like a daily thing. And so um, I totally am rooting for you and let me know how your wrapping goes. And thank you, Crystal, for the birthday wishes. Also, Jennifer Stockless, thank you so much for the birthday wishes as well so those are the ladies who commented on my last video thank you guys so much for the report report thank you guys so much for the support <laughs>
and if um, you guys want shout outs on the next video then make sure that you leave a comment under this one all right guys i still have um to place a grocery order and do a little bit of tidy i'm like so tired this is vlogmas day four and i will see you guys tomorrow bye